Welcome to the Paygate PayWeb ECWID instruction video. You're going to want to head over to GitHub, Paygate, PayWeb, ECWID, and you're going to want to go onto the releases page. After you're there, you're going to want to hit the ECWID Paygate PayWeb plugin setup instruction PDF, and you're going to save that to a convenient location. I've saved it to the desktop. I'm going to open it up. So the first step is to open a Paygate account. If you're watching this video, I'd imagine that you've done this. You're going to want to go through steps one, two, and three to register, get started, wait for an agent to contact you, and then fill in your various details via form during the registration process. After which you'll be supplied with a Paygate merchant ID and key. So presuming those steps are complete, let's go into the configuration stage. We're going to set up DPO Paygate in your ECWID control panel. So we're going to go to ECWID control panel configuration payment. So ECWID control panel configuration payment. Under add new payment methods, other ways to get paid, we're going to click choose payment processing. Then under four other countries, we're going to select credit card authorized.net SIM. Under four other countries, we're going to select authorized.net SIM. Now we're going to click actions account settings and fill in our DPO paygate credentials in the authorized.net SIM payment page method pop-up. So it does load this automatically. What we're going to do is under API login ID, we're going to enter the paygate ID that we got from paygate. Transaction key is going to be PGECWID. The MD5 hash key is going to be the encryption key that you would have received from Paygate. I'm just entering the default test ID details to do test transactions. Transaction type will be authorized and capture, which is done there. Now we're going to click on advanced settings. A block will open so that you can update the endpoint URL. Please ensure that the encryption key, the MD5 hash value received from Paygate is 20 characters or less. Should the encryption key received be more than 20 characters, please contact support at paygate.co.za. I'm going to copy the, this endpoint URL, seeing as we're about to use it. But when I click advanced settings, I'm going to need to enter the endpoint URL as per the instructions here in the PDF. Then we're going to ensure all Paygate details are correct and click save to confirm your authorized.net SIM payment option. As you can see, the Paygate payment method is now available on checkout. You have configured ECWID correctly. Well done.